god they found me they finally found me dear diary you already know what this video is all about or maybe you don't but this video is all about story time of when your girl had police men visit her do enjoy the video hi guys welcome back to my channel and on this channel my name is Duni. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Duni's Diary. La, la, la. If you are new to this channel, my name is Duni, and on this channel, I literally talk about everything and anything. So yes, guys, from the title, you already know what's gonna go down. You already know what time it is. <laughs> Today, I am going to be giving you guys a story time. So before you watch, before you go on, please help yourself. Get a cup of coffee. Get a cup of water get a cup of tea feel comfortable make sure you're relaxed sitting appropriately and enjoy the video <laughs> have you done that okay i'll give you i'll give you a second cool welcome back so today i am going to be talking about my police visitation experience now guys you know that you know with everything that's happening police brutality and all of the other things you know that you know this <laughs> the gravity of what i'm going to say like oh my god what happened so let me even without further ado let me just jump right into it before i go on guys do not forget to like share subscribe most importantly i really do need you to subscribe so if you have not subscribed please indulge me click the subscri subscribe button down below thank you thank you okay let me just get right to it like it's not a funny matter i'm laughing because i've actually moved past it guys it's it wasn't funny when it happened so i told you that i lived in the basement and um my latest neighbor before i moved out um caused a lot of rookers before leaving and all of that so what happened so i had this neighbor moving um in april mind you my basement suite was just personal to me so the landlord the previous house had like two basement suites every amenities facilities that is required in the one bedroom was available in the basement suite so i wasn't sharing any amenities with this neighbor we all had our own individual amenities it was just that we neighbors that is we're living side by side you get but it was the basement so this particular girl moved in and you know it all seemed nice she moved in it was nice and everything a few days after she moved in police came knocking on my door around um, 5 a.m on a i think on a saturday or sunday i really can't remember one of the weekends and it was so loud they literally woke me up i was just saying bug, 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 on the door like bug, bug, bug. <laughs> what's happening who is that like and then i woke up and i was like okay who is there or like the police I'm like the police then i said you mathematics in my head where did you go to where have you been who is who why were the police be looking for and mind you, this was like the heat of the moment this was when police brutality was happening in the u.s so i was like hey god they found me they finally found me what could be the problem you know i opened the door and i saw like five of them on the porch and i was like okay they literally literally could see that i had just woken up then i was like okay like what's happening and they're like did i call an ambulance and i'm like i didn't call an ambulance like it's not me that do i have a neighbor and like yes i do have a neighbor now the way my house is there's a footmat right in front of the house the previous place there's a footmat right in front of the house my instinct told me that okay maybe they, they thought i was the only one living because of the footmat right that i am the only one living in the basement right so you know they just assumed i guess they're like do i have a neighbor like yes i do have a neighbor and then this is my neighbor's name and then i think she should be around i'm not sure you know and i was not thinking why would five people actually five policemen actually come in response to an ambulance call hmm guys only did i know that was the beginning of the whole police visitation the beginning of the the old drama so I called my landlord you know telling him that oh the police guys are here um and they would want to see you see this is my landlord only god that we help him this is my previous landlord do you know that guys that they had gone upstairs to knock on the door on the main building on the main door and these landlord people did not respond 
but these guys were walking up and down upstairs they were walking like walking but they didn't open the door till i called because they asked if i had a line and i'm like yes that have you checked they said yes they've gone they've knocked they went back again to knock my neighbor now opened the door but wasn't my neighbor it was somebody else that was in the house apparently that guy had called the ambulance on our behalf what had happened a leg had broken how did it break i did not understand i did not know till after you know she came back so she got back a few days later asked her what happened she said she fell off the stairs you know she had a big cast on her leg and everything i was like okay cool you know let me know if you need anything you know i'm there i would help you let me just know if you need anything a few weeks passed you know everybody was doing their own thing nobody nobody really really had any path to cross and all of that one of those days i helped her with you know helping her get something from the cupboard checked in like you okay you know and after like two or three times of doing that i just left her now because she had people come over and to help her and all of that let's fast forward to a few weeks after i was going out on a saturday this is the only happening on the weekend i was going out on a saturday and then i noticed that a window screen to the side of our um our house like the kitchen area the window screen for the kitchen is it the kitchen or bedroom i can't remember had been removed so my head i thought maybe you know she was trying to bring in something because mind you are still in the basement so the side gate is just close the window screen is close to the side gate our own exit right and the same applies to me too so my head i was thinking maybe she was bringing and um bringing in a heavy item and it got caught the window screen i was just thinking maybe it was a couch or something i don't know just what came to me and it got caught in the window screen i got back later that evening you know later that day in the evening and then i saw her outside i was like oh I, how you doing her cast had been changed to a brace like normal brace so she was actually getting better how you feeling generally she said she's good that uh, she actually looked distraught then she was like do i have a minute that she likes to talk it was cold guys <laughs> I would like it was cold and I really didn't want to get back in. It was just at the beginning stages of summer. Summer had not really kicked in then. I was like, oh sure, what's up? What's happening? Then she mentioned that, you know, she's in an abusive relationship and uh, she was just mentioning a lot of stuff. You could tell that she was either high or she wasn't mentally stable and honestly I was scared. I was scared for her. I was like, you wanna call the police? She was like, no, she don't wanna call the police, you know, you don't deal with them you know oh, i'm like he gangster lomo this person is a gangster meanwhile the place that tall a window screen that tall it was a boyfriend that broke into the house to steal something from her oh, i'm like what's happening here am i living in a ghetto area what exactly is happening because i didn't have this experience when the previous neighbor was around right so what is happening you know <sighs> good guys best believe that i was already thinking i was already calculating my nah, 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 nah. what am i gonna do where am i gonna go i have to leave immediately i can't stay here no more you know he said that don't i know that don't i hear when she's having a fight or she's having fights with her boyfriend that i probably would hear and like, i'm sorry i don't hear i don't know what you're talking about like what happened like the fight that beat her is abusive and then he came and he broke into her house and he stole something that that the landlord literally had to have a conversation with her that he had a conversation with her i'm like hey ha i just got some new gadgets i can't be allowing all of this thing ha granted I wasn't disturbed they didn't bring all of these things to my side but i was still very scared and i was i was like very cautious so i texted the landlord saying that oh hi that um, my head that there was a break in i didn't let the landlord know that i knew to what extent you know and i'll try to his landlord lied and just said that you know allegedly let me be mindful he allegedly allegedly said that he was just hearing it for the first time that i wasn't aware of it that he now thanked me from bringing it to his notice see what he did there guys he thanked me for bringing it to his notice i said okay i said hope there is no cause for alarm that i hope this is not the cause for alarm he said no that everything is fine then in june this i think it was in may or something 
Then he called back later and said, oh, he has given a notice to leave in June. Then he later called back and said, oh, he has given a notice to leave in July. Mama did not leave. Oh, Mama did not leave. At one point, the boyfriend came around and they were both in the house. There was one time they were having like a serious fight. Literally, I thought they were going to destroy the whole house. Throwing things, she was screaming. You know, he was shouting. I, guys, it felt like I was living in Telemundo. You know when those things they were shouting, hey, 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 something, 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 something. And then the guy is leaving, or the guy is leaving, and they will not run after each other or something. They will not start kissing. You know, hot, sexy kiss. That is what I was saying, live and direct. <laughs> guys, <laughs> literally what I was saying, live and direct, you know. And I'm like, what's happening? Literally, what's happening? That wasn't the end though. After a few days, police came knocking again. This time around, there were three. On my door, yet again. And I always wondered why, because when you come down the stairs, the first door on the right is my neighbor's door. I am on the left. Your instinct should tell you to go to the right, the first door. Do you understand? I am on the left. But they came knocking on my door. Bang, bang, bang. Yet again, waking me up. I was there and they were like, the police. I was like, the police? Like, yet again? What do you guys want? I am innocent. <laughs> I am very innocent. I do not do anything. And then the guy was very apprehensive. And then I opened the door. He was like, Hi, good morning. Is there a Chris here? I was like, Chris? There's no Chris here. Literally just woke up. I don't know what you're talking about. He said, Yeah, is there a Chris here? A Chris? A Chris? I'm looking for a Chris. I'm like, There's no Chris here. <laughs> this was end of June. There's no Chris here. He's like, Are you sure? Yeah, this was end of June. He said, Are you sure? I said, Yes, that there's no Chris here. He said, Do you live alone? I said, I live alone. Yes, I do live alone. He said, do you have a neighbor? I said, yes, I have a neighbor. Call her name. She lives here. In my mind, I actually thought the neighbor wasn't around because she was supposed to have left. She came around to pick up some stuff. So I thought she had moved or she was planning to move. And she probably moved in, moved out when I wasn't around or something. So I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't even have any inkling that somebody might still be living in the apartment. I don't know, he kept on asking that, do I have someone here? Do I can you? And I'm like, I literally just woke up. Literally, I have to say that. I literally just woke up. I live alone. There is nobody here. Would you believe that this guy asked to come inside my house? To come and see my surroundings. To see what's happening. Hey, <laughs> God. To look for this Chris. <laughs> who Chris is? I didn't know who Chris is. You know, I don't know who Chris is. And they came in and literally... The lady and the guy, one of the ladies and the guy came in. Was the lady that suggested that she would come in? I'm like, sure, because I really don't have anything to hide. Meanwhile, they don't have a warrant to search my house or so nothing. But I'm like, I don't have anything to hide. If you guys want to come in and look for Chris, please feel free to be my guest. Let's see if you're going to find the ghost Chris, you know. And then they came inside, said looking for Chris, entered my room, checking wardrobe. Literally, if they had the opportunity to check under the bed. They would have raised the mattress <laughs> and check under the bed for this Chris that wasn't here. I'm like, what's happening? Who is Chris? You know? And the landlord was still upstairs listening to all of these things. It did not come down. It didn't peak. I didn't see his brake lights. And that was another main reason why I felt like I needed to go because this guy did not have my back in any way, in any way whatsoever. It just left me high and dry. It was after police people left and I said putting preventive measures. But we'll get to that. So they left. They knocked on my neighbor's door. But Coco, 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 lo and behold, somebody opened the door. I'm like, whoa. So somebody is actually around. Who was around? The tenant's boyfriend. Be known to us, Chris is, or be known to me. Or maybe let's even say us. Because the police guys don't know. Chris is my neighbor's um, boyfriend's friend that one said i don't know where chris is you know i've never heard there. he's not been here i've not seen him for ages guys i don't, I don't know where he is yet yet yeah <laughs> you don't know where he is so you are chris's friend they caught him <laughs> there was a court <laughs> guys i tell you that the first time i was trembling when these police people get police people came the second time I was in the same state too. I was trembling because I don't understand why I had police people visiting me. I did not have police people visiting me in the UK. I did not have police people visiting me in Nigeria. He's now 
yeah that police will start visiting me no 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 we got to move i have to move so that was another reason why i said whatever i'm moving to i'm not moving into a basement anymore even if it's ground level i have to move to a place that is really secured that has security downstairs security upstairs before you get on the elevator you have to use the fob before you enter the building you have to use the fob that kind of tight security because my experience now not everybody right not everybody actually goes through that everybody not everybody i know of some people that had good relationships with their landlord and you know, they wouldn't even think of leaving anytime soon or leaving after their lease has expired because the environment is good there's no drama but this girl just attracted a lot of drama 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 that's why I like i would advise if you're actually getting in basement make sure you're the only one there make sure that the environment is nice and conducive make sure just make sure that you're living in a very nice place you know so they left they got the info they, they wanted from the guy they left they came back again yes they came back again this time the guy was still around came to look for this chris i'm like man i'm like what would have this chris done who is this their boss boyfriend what is it for the police to come into meet him to ask all of these questions you know is he a drug dealer is he a robber who is he you know another reason why i'm like man I, you have to leave immediately as soon as you can just move by then i already settled my um my now apartment i've already settled it i've already paid for it i think i already paid for my deposits i'd settled it because i did not want to have any excuse to stay again because i'm like no final final straw like mm, 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 mm. we can't be doing this no more no more so that day passed a few days after neighbor was drunk neighbor's boyfriend was drunk talking saying a lot of things was literally very drunk saying a lot of things keep knocking on my door by past 3 a.m never forget 3 a.m keep knocking on my door i'm like who is there they say it's the niece my neighbor it's your neighbor i'm like what do you want from inside i didn't open the door i said from inside so what do you want he said he wants to he wants to get some charger like some wall charger i'm like i'm using my phone charger what do you want he said um that that um he was checking on me if i'm okay clearly he was drunk and i could hear from his house that there were other people there and literally were smoking something because i could smell it in my sitting room right i'm like i'm like no that's i'm okay that you don't have to see me i'm okay i'm like okay die but i need anything i should let him know da, 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 da. i said thank you i'm very much okay guys believe me i was very very scared police people came two seconds after or let's even say let's not exactly two minutes after they came again looking for this chris oh. by past three a.m he came looking for this chris <laughs> i don't know if it's the my neighbors one of the neighbors that like, reported that there were there was noise coming from the house or something because they were really loud they were very loud when i got to sit room i realized that they were very loud i don't know if they reported that you know noise was coming out from the house and they need to come and check but they knew where to go this time around. they didn't come knocking on my door they went to that guy's house and that guy just literally shouted i don't know where chris is guys that i've never seen chris i've not seen chris in a while they are scaring my neighbor they are scaring me they're scaring me they're scaring the guy upstairs that they should stop literally shouting at the police they should stop coming to the house i say gangster and bye bye i say it must be a gangster so that was like the experience i had and then after that landlord literally got a, a padlock padlock <laughs> okay, the last time i saw a padlock for gates was in lagos before i came here it got chains that would literally chain the gates right lock it because the lock the <laughs> this guy was so cheap the <laughs> the the lock for the gates had removed right it did not get a new lock it now got padlock chain and padlock so you lock it from inside when you're around when you are in the house you lock it from outside when you are going out you understand that kind of thing that's what we did and it got like cameras around the house it didn't have that before it got them around the house it just had it in front of the house it didn't have it beside and behind the house because she didn't care about us so it got it around the house and then behind the house so he got that too in his house and yeah he had to like remove all that stuff from the house take it out and kept it in the storage and later the girl came in and literally came to pack her stuff and she left 
but man that experience was not funny at all it wasn't funny it was scary it was guys for me it was very scary like i couldn't sleep there were nights where i literally would be wide wide awake like if i hear the slightest noise i would just wake up because i was scared and i couldn't really sleep and my friends were there for me like you know checking in and all of that so yeah like that was one of the reasons why i really needed to leave except for the fact that my lease expired but i really needed to leave like as soon as possible i needed to leave asap asap yes that's what happened and yeah that's a story time you know next 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 vlog i'm gonna be talking about a crazy how i lived with a mad person literally i lived with a mad person in the uk <laughs> guys i have enough story time for you i literally live with a mad person in the uk i'm going to tell you guys about it in the next vlog so yeah let me know if you enjoyed my story time and let me know if you had any crazy crazy experience neighbor experience or police experience whatever it is like come let us see bad things you know because you know it's in in, in light of what's happening today we people of color like we are actually experiencing things right so no, when things happen like this you know it's funny now that i talk about it but it wasn't funny then because it was literally in the midst of all of this pandemic and you know all of the riots and everything that was happening in the u.s especially to people of color and all of that so i was really scared scared for my life i was thinking like wow that you know i hope it will be another case whereby i'm being ambushed in my own house and all of that you know so yeah i was beyond beyond scared so yeah that's what happened but i'm grateful to god that you know everything was settled and i'm out of the situation and i'm fine so yeah so a lot a lot actually happened before i left a lot that you guys nobody knew um you guys didn't know about but yes that's story time please do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys for listening to my story i'll see you in my next video bye